All right, folks, we're at a gas service. And this is very, very crucial. This is, I never recommend anybody trying to locate this gas service. It's a two inch service. And you got your regulator. This regulator is not even made out of steel. I don't know if it's even cast iron. It's made out of some material. So this regulator won't rust. <clears throat> this is the heart. This is what makes the whole system work. Without the regulator, all this components back here won't work. This is your diaphragm right here. This gasket right here, your diaphragm, it's a heart. It goes up and down. But anyway, besides that, this rubber gasket, it's an insulator. It creates an insulator for this regulator. So when you're locating a gas service like this, you want to be on the body of pipe below the regulator because this is insulated by the diaphragm right here, the rubber gasket. And right down here, you want located something stale right here body of pipe if you guys go off the valve or the blow off vent the vent here I don't know if this, like I said I don't know if this is cast iron I don't know what kind of material this is made you know but if you try to locate off the vent here you're going to bleed off I see plenty of times I've been doing this long enough I've been I see a lot of gas services getting hit because guys will hook up here hook up here hook up on the vent, and it'll bleed off onto the water service, or onto the different utility besides the gas service. So let me show you an example. When you hook on to this vent, and like I said, this is insulated by the diaphragm. You can see the rubber gasket. There's no way my tone should come through this component down the service and out. There should be no way. So. You right now you can see off the bat it's moving. Boom, I got a tone. Nope, it's not the gutter. So I got a tone right here, and it makes sense. The service is right next to the foundation. So it makes sense why I'll get a tone. So somebody will think the service is here. 84 milliamps, 82 milliamps, but look where I'm at, eight feet. Good milliamps, really good milliamps. But look at where I'm hooked up at. I'm on an insulator. Like I said, this diaphragm right here is some kind of plastic or some kind of rubber material. And I'm above that. Here's my vent. I'm above this gasket here. I'm not below it where the surface is. I'm above it on this blow up vent. Now, somebody could say, Holy shit, I got it right here 60 milliamps, six feet. Has to be. They go trace it out, not knowing they're marking out something else. And now they're marking this gas service right next to this foundation. Good milliamps, good readings, but they bled off on something else. It's definitely not the gas service running through this by this foundation there. And that's what I'm talking about. That's a damage waiting to happen because someone wants to locate off a vent. And that's not the right way of locating a gas service. 
that's a damage waiting to happen. And this meter is a big meter. This gets hit. This is a this is big time here. That's probably taking one pound of gas coming in. One pound. So it's very important not to locate off that vent. I mean, there's there might be times you might get lucky and you might get a tone on it, but not 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 all the time. It's not good practice to go off a vent. You want to go off a body of pipe or the shutoff valve somewhere below the regulator. I'm mean, going to preach this in my videos plenty of times, and I see a lot of people going off the vent, going above the regulator, and miss marking gas services. Like I just showed a video a couple of, a month ago about a gas service got mismarked because the locator went above the regulator and he bled off onto the water main. And I showed you that in a video. And here's another example. Off the vent on 8 kilohertz. I got a good tone right next to the foundation there. Excellent tone here. Someone's marking this out over here and getting the damage because they decided to go off a vent. Off a vent. Let's see where the locator got it. You see where he has it marked out here. Here's the foundation, here's the gas service. Way out there. Somebody would have marked it right by the building there. Ten feet off. Who knows where it went over here in the weeds. But it's ten feet off. Damage wouldn't happen. They would have had to tie it in a way over there. On this critical main. They probably force it. It'll probably come down, right down here. Probably eyeball, because it probably came through here. Tied in right onto the main. And, you know, that could be the water service, and who knows what's riding right next close to that foundation wall. Could, could be even a ghost. So that's critical, folks. Hook on to the body of pipe, the valve, trace wire, to be on the safe side. You go on that vent, on that blow up vent, you just never know. Like I said before, you might get lucky once in a while because inside, the material inside, there's metal inside, but outside, I don't think it's cast iron. It's some kind of, some kind of material because that regulator cannot rust. That's the heart that makes that gas, to relieve that gas inside the building. That's the heart. When that regulator goes, it's all over with. So remember that, folks, you, you go locate off that vent, you might get lucky once in a while, but sometimes you just might not, and you might get the damage. So remember that, ladies and gents.